This program was made possible by our generous sponsors. Hi, my name is Chris. Welcome to another episode of My Sci on the Move. Today we're talking about rockets. We'll also be making our own basic rockets we can launch using a straw. Recently, the first rocket to carry people from Florida in almost 10 years flew into space. Lift off of the Falcon 9 and Crew Dragon, go NASA, go SpaceX, Godspeed, bottom dive. This was a big deal because the last time NASA launched people on one of their own rockets was in 2011. And because this time, NASA didn't build the rocket or the capsule carrying the astronauts. Instead, this was the first time a private company, SpaceX, used their own rocket and their own capsule to carry astronauts all the way to orbit. While there have been other companies that launched people to space, SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket and Dragon capsule have to travel much faster, carry much more weight, and travel much higher than earlier private spaceships. To learn more about this historic launch, check out my size videos on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube, or visit nasa.gov or spacex.com. Building and launching rockets of any size is hard. Building ones to carry humans is even harder. Rocket fuels can be incredibly exotic or quite normal. Some have used diesel, wax, or aluminum. But all are always incredibly dangerous without the right training. Today we're going to focus on how the parts of a rocket help it fly correctly. To explore, we're going to make what's called a straw rocket. You'll need a piece of plain paper, a ruler to measure out the parts for your rocket, a pencil, straw, and tape. You'll either need a responsible adult with scissors or your own scissors. Start by cutting out a piece that's about five and a half inches tall by one and one quarter inches wide. This will be your rocket's body, the part that holds everything together in flight. Sometimes rockets use a body that's filled with separate fuel tanks. Other times rockets use their fuel tanks as their body. The former space shuttle even put the engines on the body of the space shuttle, then gave the fuel tanks their own separate body. The hardest part in making a straw rocket is this next step. You'll need to take your paper and carefully roll it around the pencil. Use a piece of tape on the paper to keep it from unrolling, but be careful. Don't tape your rocket to the pencil or it can't fly. The paper will need to fit the straw without too much room around the sides, but if you roll it too tightly, then your rocket won't be able to slide off. It'd be like it can't get off the launch pad. Since our rocket is flying through the air, it's going to need something to make it more aerodynamic. Most rockets use what's called a nose cone for this. The nose cone also protects delicate satellites and spacecraft while the rocket is flying through our thick atmosphere. To make our lives a little easier, we're just going to pinch the end of our paper structure closed, put a piece of tape over that, and trim off the extra. Large rockets often use computers and movable engines to steer as they fly, but since we can't fit either of those on our straw rocket, we're going to use fins. Start by measuring out two squares that are each two inches wide and two inches tall. Then cut each one in half diagonally. Even without a computer to steer, the fins will help keep the rocket flying straight. Because the fins create more surfaces for air to push against, it's harder for the straw rocket to turn off course than if there were no fins at all. Fold each edge slightly to make taping easier, then stick them around the body of your rocket. To start with, space them evenly around the body. Finally, your rocket is ready to fly. To launch, place it over the end of your straw, blow into the other end, and lift off. Straw rockets fly because the air you breathe out pushes the straw rocket forward. Real rockets fly forward or up just because the engines are throwing so much stuff out the back of the rocket. It's not pushing against the air to fly. If that were the case, rockets would only work up until you reach space. 
You can test this yourself if you have some roller skates, a skateboard, or a scooter, and a ball. Try standing still on the roller skates, skateboard, or scooter, then throwing the ball. You'll find you slowly drift in the other direction. To learn more about how rockets fly, keep an eye on our Facebook page, Instagram, and our YouTube channel for a future video about Newton's third law of motion. There's lots of rocket designs out there. What happens to your straw rocket when you make the body longer, shorter, or use more paper to make it thicker? What happens when you add more fins, use no fins, or move the fins to different places? Experiment with different designs to see how far you can launch your rocket. Then comment on this post with a picture of your best rocket and tell us how far it flew. For an added bonus, can you figure out how to make a paper cone for your rocket's nose? This has been another episode of My Sci on the Move. Be sure to check out our other videos on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube, and check our website for summer activities. Thanks for watching.